Hey, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So I have beaten up that polyethylene plate that Sawyer Lawrence sent with a lot of rounds. And it's done really well. The only thing that it hasn't stopped is M855, but we know that polyethylene plates can be vulnerable to M855. What I haven't done is to hit it with what it's actually rated to stop in 762 by 51 RF1 is very similar to NIJ level 3 with the exception that RF1 allows about half as much back face deformation as NIJ level 3 plates do. Now what I thought would be a lot more interesting than just hitting it with what it's rated to stop is to hit it with what is rated to stop after it's been abused. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to shoot it with 762 by 51 millimeter M80 full metal jacket fired from a Springfield M1A. Two eight zero zero. All right. Here's a there's impact. There's half of the plate. Looks like, I don't know if you can see that. There it is. There's some of the jacket. Here's the other half of the plate. And you can see some material from an earlier shot right here. I think that that's what's left over that 50 grain TSX. But that's where the 7.62, where's my finger? I can't see myself. There we go. That's where the 7.62 by 51 hit. No perforation. M855, M855. You can see the bullet smashed up pretty good here. pieces of the bullet. Stopped it. It's crazy impressive. Okay, that was very impressive, but frankly not that surprising. It's rated to stop 762 by 51 and yeah, sure it's been abused all to hell and back, but Polyethylene is a very resilient material. It doesn't shatter like ceramic. Even steel can crack if it's been shot through. But polyethylene is very flexible and it, won't, and it won't crack or shatter. And it's not surprising that it can stop multiple rounds. Sure, it did delaminate, but bear in mind that yes, of course, it's been hit many, many, many times. <laughs> and it's way beyond what it's been designed for. If you'd like to hear what other surplus armor Sorry, Lawrence has in stock. Make sure you send him an email. His contact information is below in the description. As always, thanks for watching. I sure appreciate your support. If you think I got something wrong, if you think I'm shilling for this guy too much, <laughs> if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Oh, you look good. Again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. Over the last few years, I have accumulated a lot of stuff from the various manufacturers. Some of it's swag and some of it's just stuff that I reviewed but didn't really want to keep. 
So I did a live stream a couple of weeks ago where I gave away some of the swag and I auctioned off a couple of the nicer things, and I think I'm going to start doing that on a more regular basis. If you would like to make sure that you are notified when I do one of these live streams, click the button to subscribe and check the box with a little bell icon next to it to indicate that you want to be notified every time I post a video. In the future, I'll try to schedule these events so that you have a little bit of notification too. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.